risk factors for the vertebral compression fractures which are modifiable and non modifiable modifiable ones are alcohol consumption tobacco use osteoporosis estrogen deficiency menopause uh, hormonal causes secondary to bilateral salpingoophrectomy premenopausal amenorrhea uh, impaired eyesight so that will also cause some amount of uh, injury i would say physical activity which is insufficient low body weight or even morbid obesity dietary calcium deficiency vitamin d deficiency non modifiable ones are advanced age female sex caucasian race why female sex because you know after menopause uh, there is generally the protective effect of the hormonal cycle goes away susceptibility to falling history of fractures in adulthood and history of fractures especially osteoporotic ones in the first degree relative so when we talk about the clinical symptoms and signs back pain is the commonest in the elderly patients most fractures can go unrecognized because you know most of the times the symptoms are attributed to degenerative change by the patient and the family this is particularly so as the osteoporotic fractures classically would occur with very small trivial activities like bending walking lifting relatively light objects and even i have patients who get the fractures after coughing sneezing while even sitting in the car with a sudden break that is given and in fact i had one patient who just had a fracture while she was you know lifting the quilt so you know these fractures with such uh uh trivial activity i would say can also happen in unstable ones as well so you know this might go unnoticed and might also be attributed to a degenerative or a senile change or a geriatric change neural compression might happen due to a repetitive pulse fragment multiple vertebral fractures can result in loss of height exaggerated kyphosis spinal deformity globular rounded kyphosis majority 60 to 75% occur around the thoracolumbar region transition zone as i told you from a thoracic kyphosis to a lumbar lordosis and a more rigid thoracic kyphosis to a mobile lumbar area is the reason because of which these fractures happen in the thoracolumbar area predominantly between t12 to l2 and this causes the other areas of spine also to become more prone for the fractures because as we discussed once they develop a fracture the chances of having subsequent fractures increases significantly